Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well, I'm here today to actually talk about a new product that's so different, so different if you compare it with anything else out there. And I'm talking about the new Leia. It's a new product that you use to apply your makeup and I'm very excited to try it. And I actually did use it once just to see the texture, I was so curious and I have some thoughts. So if you want to see me apply my makeup and want to see, hear my thoughts about this, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so Leia is a new product for applying makeup instead of sponge or a brush. And this is the packaging that it comes in. It's see-through packaging. It's a smooth, even finish, buildable coverage, no product waste. This comes with a with a box or a container or I don't know what to call it, but where you can store your Alea. And I know you can see it's so beautiful. It's magnetic, which I really like, and it doesn't fall down. So you can see here where the air can come. It. You can see how it's. You can see how it looks, but this product is very interesting. It's not a silly, but it feels like skin. Really weird feeling, um, but you get used to it. It has one side that's textured and one that is smooth. You can actually use however you want this. I actually, I like using smooth for applying my um, uh, my primers or applying my skincare. But I used it once all over my face just to see how it looks when it just arrived because I really I was really curious to see how it's working because this is something different. But I'm going to read what it says here on the back. Leia creates professional makeup results flawlessly for an artist applicated look with a smooth even finish. This versa versatile applicator is perfect for creating full of sh or sheer coverage plus contouring, bronzing, and blushing using liquid and creams with no product waste. Leia's unique skin tech material is non-porous, non-absorbent, flexible and incredible easy to clean with next to nothing drying time. It's or, um, ergonom ergonomic shaped, Nestle is comfortable in your hand with dual textured side for application and achieving a creamy uh, a dreamy blend. I'm going to put the link uh, down below and even the website. But this costs around, I don't know if it's 52 or 54, I'm not really sure, dollars. I'm going to put the, all the information down below. And it should be something that you can use forever. I switch sponges every week because I apply makeup every single day and I feel even if I wash it I wash it every time I feel like I need it's not so clean and it doesn't feel nice to actually apply the makeup too many times with the same sponge now sometimes I do use it for two weeks but I notice when I use same sponge for more than three four or even more weeks I start getting a lot of breakouts and it has to do maybe with the sponge I do clean it every single time I use it but Still, I know it just doesn't feel too, I know, as clean as the new one. So something like this definitely saves the money if it actually works. So I'm going to apply my makeup today with it. So let's start. Sorry for my voice, guys. I'm still having this cough that it's so annoying. Okay, we are going to use Milk Hydro Primer. And I'm going to put some on my hand. See, why did I put it on my? I could actually just put everything on my face, and we are going to use the layer. Going to, I'm using the side where it's that it's not textured, and this feels really comfortable. I have to say, it does have a learning curl because it's different. It's different, but it feels very comfortable in the hand and feels also very comfortable on the face when I use it. So let's see. It's spreading the product evenly. 
Okay, when, now when the face is primed, we're going to use the available uh, L'Oreal's foundation. And I'm going to use this one because I know how it actually works on my skin. So I'm going to use, put it on my hand and just apply some. And don't use too much foundation, use sparingly, and then you can see if you need more to cover up or to build up the coverage. Okay, let's go in with the textured side. So, and I only used one pump, pump of the foundation. definitely spreading the product evenly and it doesn't soak in any product at all so everything goes up to my face or on my face you can hear my neighbors kids playing outside they were a little bit loud so definitely see that I need to use more foundation on some parts of my skin so I'm going to do that and if you have foundation that, that dries down very, very fast I will use a um, setting spray or a face mist and just wet the face a little bit with the face mist or just use in sections it's blending very nice it does take me I feel a little bit just a little bit longer than a sponge this shade is totally wrong for me right now but who cares I'm not going anywhere okay so it's spreading foundation really really nice I think this foundation and this primer maybe don't like each other but it definitely takes some learning hmm. my skin looks a little bit dry I don't know if this is going to be my favorite product for using to apply my makeup because I'm so used to sponges sponge is my favorite so We'll see, but I'll definitely continue using it and playing with it. Heavier foundations, thicker foundations, and different primers, and we'll see. But this is like a first time or second time. Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy today, and this is in shade 22N. We're not going to use a lot, because we don't need to use a lot with this with this product we don't need to okay let's see first time I use it I just use it really fast with all of the products and I wasn't really sure what I think about it but I do has oh wow this worked really nice with the concealer I even like it uh, more for the concealer than I do for the foundation so far but we'll see here i do have my glasses i wear my glasses so it's very hard for me to apply any product there i don't know what's happening on this side but i don't know if you can see let me just come a little bit closer here it's really it looks a little bit heavy and dry like it sits, can you see, like it sits on my skin, doesn't sink into the skin. So I'm, hmm. okay, I'm going to remove this and try to apply the primer with my face, with my face, no, with my hands. And we'll see if that will work better because so far, mm, the, the other side looks better, but the other side looks a little bit better, but this side doesn't look good. And we are going to use another foundation just to see. Maybe this foundation is a little bit too old because it's been a while since I used it. So we'll see if it has to do with that. Okay, we're trying another primer. Let's go in with this Hourglass primer. I don't know, if be, maybe the gripping primer doesn't really want to work with this product. I have no idea. Or applicator. So we're going to use my favorite Hourglass. Okay. And I'm going to spread it with my fingers. So the primer is on, and let's go with Charlotte Tilbury. I have in three neutral. Yep. So I'm going to use one side at a time. 
Maybe this is too much. Maybe. Round number two. They do say to use less product, but maybe I went a little bit too much with the It definitely works so, so much better. Look, definitely works so much better this second time. I don't know if it's the gripping primer or if it's the foundation and that primer or what it is, but it definitely works so much better with this foundation and this primer. Definitely saves um, a lot of foundation because Pancho likes to drink my foundation for breakfast dinner and lunch. I'm going to use Tarte Shape Tape, a little bit darker shade, this is the usual, uh, 22M, this is also 22M, okay, just to cover my spots, and I'm going to use the creamy one on my eyes. I didn't use a lot. Okay. Okay. So it blended the concealer beautifully. My nose still doesn't like any makeup. Okay, so far so good. We are going to go and use the cream, uh, the cream bronzer and the cream blush, and I'm going to use the Tarte one. So we're going to use just a small amount and. Wow. It definitely blended the bronzer beautifully into the skin and into the foundation. I like it so far. It does. Let me just say, don't use this product if you are in a hurry for the first couple of times when you use it. You do need to learn how to use it the best way on your on your face. It blended beautifully everything, so I like it so uh, much more right now. Okay, let's use the cream blush on top. We are going to go in. This is the Peach Sunset. Here again. It didn't lift anything or the foundation on the... So that looks good. Okay, let's use more. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, the creams are on. I'm going to powder and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so uh, I just applied some mascara and sorry guys for my hair. It is um, messy. I need to wash it, but just don't look at it. Okay, let's let's hear my thoughts. <clears throat> uh, now maybe it doesn't look so nice like it did in the beginning, but I just want to show you and I did do a test. Okay. If you put it anywhere where you have dust or uh, cat hair or dog hair, it's going to get stuck on this product. This is how it looks mm -hmm. after me using it. And I did put it or dropped it down on mm -hmm. the floor. I did vacuum this morning, but yeah, there is always some dust on the floor from the socks and everything. So you can wash it, of course. But, but I need to be honest, and I'm always honest on my channel. I think this, this applied the products beautifully. I feel like it applied my bronzer and blush and concealer just a little bit better than my foundation, but I would definitely tr continue using it and play with this product a little bit more. But let's just be honest, it's not so easy to wash. It, it wasn't so easy for me. 
I tried to wash it just with some Luke water and it didn't came off. So I tried to use like a makeup remover soap that I have, that I use for my sponges. Everything didn't get clean. So what I found with how to wash this product easily, it's with a makeup remover towel. You know those colorful small towels that you can use to that you wet and you remove your makeup? Those work beautifully with this product. So I have one pink smaller that I use to remove or used and going to continue using it to remove the makeup from this product. But I can definitely see myself using this much, much more. And I feel like it's something new. This works definitely better than those silicone sponges or silicone pads or what it was couple of years ago, those were a disaster. I tried to film a video with that and just turned out like a disaster and I never upload that video. But this product, I'm very surprised how actually the bronzer and the blush went on smoothly, fast. And also I liked it a little bit more than with the sponge. I think I like this product just a little bit more than a sponge. I have to be honest, it does take a learning curve, so you need to use it a couple of times to actually see which method works better for you. Of course, some people will find this product a little bit easier to use, those that have maybe smooth and perfect young skin. My, I'm almost 38 years old. I'll, I'll turn 38 in September, so I have wrinkles, I have fine lines, my skin it's not fir as firm even if I take care of it but it's not as firm as someone that's 20, 25. So of course it takes a little bit more learning curve for me <laughs> and my skin but I just have to say I really like this product. I really like it. This is my second time using it. It's just um, I will continue using it and see uh, if I can kind of find another method how to wash it a little bit easier but it does work very very well with the makeup removal towel or what it's called and I like it a lot so um, it's a nice and I love this now I need to wash this one too because I just applied the dirty one but I love this this magnetic it's easy to remove but it doesn't fall so when you travel it's easy to have it with you and it's going to get some air in it i just love love this product and it dries down really fast so i really like it i was really skeptical when i saw this on instagram but i'm glad that i bought it definitely glad, glad that i bought it so guys let me know down below what you think about this product is it something that you would like to try? Let me know down below. I will def definitely update you later in, after a couple of months me using this product and I will use it every day just to see if it, if it actually will last very long, if it actually is worth the money. So I will use it every time I apply my makeup just to tell you my thoughts later if it actually is worth it. So far, the second time in using it, it's definitely that. I really think this is something new and very exciting out there, but um, I will update you, so of course. Yeah, guys, that was everything. Let your thoughts down below. I really want to read them. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and like this video, and i see you in my next one. I love you all. Bye.